this problem, we're going to determine if the vectors are linearly dependent. Let's do several examples. So let's look at the vector u, and we'll write it uh, as a row vector, as 1, 2. And let's look at the vector v, and again, we'll write it uh, as a row vector, 3, negative 5. And so we want to know if these two vectors are linearly dependent. So two vectors are linearly dependent if they are multiples of each other. So let's force them to be multiples and see if we can come up with a solution. So let's let u equal to k times v, where k is a scalar. This is what it means uh, for them to be multiples. So u is 1, 2. And then here we have k, and that's 3, negative 5. So we have 1, 2. And then you can distribute the k through, it's called scalar multiplication. So 3k minus 5k. All right. So we force them to be multiples. We distributed the k. And now two vectors are equal when their uh, components are the same. This means that 1 is equal to 3k. And it also means that 2 is equal to negative 5k. So if we solve this for k, we divide by 3, and we get k equals 1 third. Solve this for k, we get k equals negative 2 fifths. These are not the same. This is impossible. So the answer is no. They are not linearly dependent. Therefore, they must be independent. Let's do another one. And again, we're just focusing on two vectors in this video. Uh, this one is very, very similar. Let's look at the vector 1, negative 3, and v is uh, negative 2, comma 6. All right, same thing. Let's force them to be multiples of each other and see what happens. And, you know, if you can do it in your head, go for it, right? But I just wanted to show you a structured way um, that will always work. You know, that will always work. All right, so u here is 1, negative 3, and then this is k and this is negative 2, 6. Good stuff. So this is uh, 1, negative 3. Distribute the k, just like before, negative 2k, 6k. And now we do the same thing we did before, right? Two vectors are equal when their components are the same. So 1 is equal to negative 2k, and negative 3 is equal to 6k. So if you divide by negative 2, Boom, you get negative 1 half. Divide by 6. Oh, you get negative 3 over 6, which is the same thing as negative 1 half. Look at that. Yes. So the answer is yes. They are dependent. These vectors are dependent. And now we can actually show it, right? We can say vector u is equal to negative 1 half, right? That's our k, times the vector v. So they are multiples of each other, so they are linearly dependent. So really, really nice. Nice, nice technique. It's really simple when it's two vectors. Let's do another one. How about this? Uh, u equals, how about 1, 2, negative 3? So we have a vector now with three components. And let's do 4, 5, negative 6. Same thing. Let's force them to be multiples and see if we can come up with a value for k. So u is 1, 2, negative 3. Then we have k. And v is 4, 5, negative 6. So this is 1, 2, negative 3, going kind of fast. And this is 4k, 5k, and then negative 6k. Good stuff. Again, two vectors are equal when their components are the same. So we get 1 equals 4k, 2 equals 5k, and then negative 3 equals negative 6k. So we get k equals 1 fourth, k equals 2 fifths. We don't even have to check the last one, right? They're not the same, so the answer is no, right? They're not, they are not dependent, right? These will be independent vectors. So again, two vectors are dependent when they are multiples of each other. One more example, last one. Let's do one more again with uh, vectors with three components. How about this one? u equals 2, 4, negative 8. 
and v equals uh, 3, uh, 6, negative 12. Same thing, let's try to force them to be multiples of each other. So we have u equal to k times our vector v. So u is 2, 4, negative 8. 2, 4, negative 8. That's equal to k times 3, 6, negative 12. So we have 2, 4, negative 8. And that's equal to 3k, 6k, uh, negative 12k, right? Distributing that k. As before, we set everything equal. So we have 2 equals 3k. Uh, let's go ahead and solve this one now. That'll give us k equals 2 thirds, right? Dividing by 3. Then we have 4 equals 6k. Dividing by 6 will give us k equals 4 over 6, which is the same thing as 2 thirds. And then negative 8 equals negative 12k. Dividing by negative 12 gives us negative 8 over negative 12. And then so 4 goes into 8 twice, and it goes into 12 three times, and the negatives cancel. So yeah, so same, so they're the same, so yes, these are dependent. So whenever you have two vectors and anyone asks you, are they dependent, if you can't do it in your head, you can always do it this way, right? You can always just force them to be multiples of each other. And if you find a solution for k, like we did here, then you know the answer is yes, they are dependent. But if you can't find a solution for k, like in the first example or in the third one, then you would say no. So hopefully this has helped you. And now you can answer questions like, you know, are the vectors and are the vectors dependent? So if you have two vectors, uh, you can always do it this way. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.